Hello YouTube, Graph Group Security here with another video. I'm standing in my closet in my office and uh, my daughter's trying to lock me in the door as I shoot this video so if I chuckle a little bit I'm sorry she's pretty funny but you know, what I got here is uh, I just previously did a video earlier today on how to add a delay to your garage roll-up door simply using your garage door light and a couple of extra parts and pieces and some clever wiring so if you haven't if you haven't seen that video just dig around on my YouTube channel and you'll find it it's pretty easy but uh, it got me thinking there's other places I've thrown some relays in and tried to modify the basic function of my alarm system and and they're pre I think they're pretty clever so I wanted to share them with you perhaps you can get some use out of them but uh, a couple of products I want to talk about is first my alarm system and the one that I put in my house is called a DSC Alexa if you're familiar with DSC it's a com it's a Tyco company uh, they make alarm systems, uh, lots of different types and, and features. Uh, they're really good. I, I've seen other systems that have more color and flash and bells and whistles. While DSC does does offer some of those things, the reason I chose the Alexa is because of its simplicity. I didn't want to confuse my family on how to use an alarm system for, for them not, not knowing how. And uh, I wanted it to uh, just be very simple, easy to install, and cost effective. So that's why I chose the Alexa. But the Alexa can communicate with a central station in three different ways. It can use a plain old telephone service line or POTS line, which is traditionally the way alarm systems communicate. It also can use a cellular uh, communicator. And on that cellular communicator, it also has a internet communicator. The cellular communicator does carry an additional cost, and it usually is a flat fee plus data a month, depending on your central station. And then the internet, of course, is whatever your internet bill is. Um, it doesn't, you know, usually there's nothing else included. It just rides your internet. Um, because most people these days have cell phones instead of home phones, and almost everybody has an internet connection because of, you know, everybody has the internet, let's be honest, YouTube and, and uh, Netflix and all the other things that you can do through the internet, not to mention surfing the web itself. It makes sense to use the internet connection in some way. My problem is, though, my internet connection, and I won't mention any names, but it sometimes isn't as reliable as a plain old telephone service line. A POTS line tends to have a constant uptime, even in a power outage, where an internet connection requires that your modem be constantly powered. It also requires that, um, that you don't have any interruptions. Sometimes different variables can bring your internet connection down. Unless you pay for a commercial internet line, you have no guarantee of an uptime compared to you know what they offer enterprise and and commercial based customers so so i wanted to try and make my internet as reliable as possible and let's be honest sometimes they don't use the highest quality dsl modems or cable modems that are out there but um so i do use both i use both the cellular uh, communicator as a secondary to my internet connection as my primary for my alarm system and the reason i do that is i can throw a lot more data down the internet connection and not have to worry about a steep increase in my central station bill but if my internet does go out and there is an issue I do want my alarm system to still be able to communicate but um, I want to make sure that that internet is as up as possible so what I did is I, I had this product from a previous project that I helped uh, put together um, we use these sort of in a clever fashion but this is called a web con uh, a web relay it's uh, the, the company's called uh, controlbyweb.com I think is their, their website but it's just literally called that web controlled relay um, or web relay it's powered off of a 5 volt transmitter now I do have uh, an entire power supply that distributes power to all my internet so my routers even this hard drive that's in here that I use for logging and backup all that stuff is constantly powered off of some uh, 12 volt 7 amp hour batteries that are hooked together so I do have quite a bit of standby time if I do have a power outage. But I do have a 12 volt to 5 volt converter that allows me to run this web relay. And what it does is it's got a small interface and it allows you to configure a few different options. And the option I elected to go with is a, is a stay awake or keep alive or a watchdog feature that it offers. What it does is it's, it's connected. Obviously, you can see there is a Cat5 that plugs into it besides the relay itself and the power. The Cat5 cable simply goes to one of my switches. That ultimately goes to the um, cable or the uh, DSL modem, rather. 
and the web relay every 30 seconds to a minute to be honest I think it's about every 30 seconds it will ping one of Google's DNS servers it'll ping it and then it'll get a reply if it does see there goes a ping if it does not get a reply it shortens the duration of the ping period and pings for an additional set amount of times if all those times it does not get a response then what it does is it throws its relay for a predetermined time which I think I have in here is just a few seconds and what that relay does is it energizes another relay why, why use one when you can use two at twice the cost so I have this other relay here that loops the power through the DSL modem now I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate hopefully I can get it to work right but I'm going to unplug the actual DSL line I'll unplug the internet here it should lose its communication actually it immediately would lose its communication so you're gonna to have to bear with me because I think the whole process takes about three minutes but what it's doing right now is it's unable to ping Google so it's gonna start its its process of pinging more rapidly then it's gonna to toggle the relay which will then yeah you can see my DSL lights flashing and it's gone red so it's going to reboot the DSL modem as though there was a problem with the modem itself. And the reason, I mean, that's basically what this is for, is it's to keep alive my modem. I also have a program programmed in my router. Uh, I do have this router scheduled for an upgrade. It is an older Cisco E2000 that is uh, using DDWRT firmware. So it does have a, a program in there that's going to reboot the router as well but that happens internally so the relay just engaged my modem is off relay just disengaged which now applied power back to the modem I don't want to confuse it so I am going to plug the DSL back in but as you can see my internet just rebooted the modem because it was because it lost communication the reason again I do this is it's just a it's just a watchdog a physical watchdog that I built for my modem so that I can ensure that my internet is doing everything that it can to be my primary communication source for my alarm system. If that fails, then my cellular system will take over and be as a backup, which hasn't actually happened yet in any case. I still get my regular check-ins from my alarm central station. I appreciate any comments or feedback. I will put a link to this company's site as well as uh, uh, some info on my Twitter account about them. Feel free to check me out on social media. And again, leave comments or questions that you might have. Check out my other videos. I welcome any feedback and be sure to visit my website, graphgroup.co. Thanks.